That's Miss Penny Super Dog. Pen Pen! Penny! Hi, baby! Oh, you're so cute! Mama loves you! Yes! You're so cute! Yes, that's my little girl. This, that's Miss Penny Super Dog. She's 18 years old and still hanging in there. She got such a will to live. Okay, let me swap this over, though, because this is too dangerous. I'm driving. Hold on. Okay, so we're back. Now, I wanted to let you know that we're going to be making flour tortillas. And I also wanted to take this time to extend my blessings to everyone who's listening to this video, to all my subscribers, to the people who know me. This is one of my favorite times of the year, uh, the autumn season, but also because of the holy days, uh, the feasts of Adonai, and um, you know Thanksgiving, and just family time. And if you don't have your natural family to celebrate with, just remember that your real family is the body of Christ. Your brothers and sisters in Christ are your true family. We're going to be spending eternity together. And I pray that you find a good body of Christ to celebrate this time and to have fellowship. And just remember Christ in everything that you do. Remember that Yeshua is the purpose of why we do what we do. And actually the feasts they tell us about Yeshua. They also tell us about prophecy. So remember that and you're celebrating that it all is encompassed within Christ, our Messiah. Okay, so um, I'll get back to you as soon as I'm in the kitchen and we'll do our best to try to record. It's just with a cell phone, so it's not going to be uh, a very thorough video, but hopefully it'll be helpful enough, okay? Flour tortillas, mucho trabajo, okay, mucho trabajo. Adios for now. Morning. What do you think you are? <laughs> okay, chica. What do we have here? When did you make these? I made those, I don't know, uh, one of the holiday days I made them my first time ever, so I froze them, and I'm going to cook them so we can eat them with some refried beans with a lot of lard and cheese, and bring me back to my days of my Grandma Lupe, and uh, I just, yeah, yeah. Mom, she was so proud, you know, I did it all by myself, you did it a good job, good, but except I do, they were a little dry, I need to do some more chili, um, chili powder. I'm sorry, Milk. Good job, good job, Rosie. Look at Rosie's got a new friend, Penny. She's very old, Penny. And Rosie's being a good girl, not attacking right now. Yes. Good girl. She's a good girl. <laughs> we're getting ready to make some tortillas. And um, we're going to do flour tortillas. And we'll try to see if we can put this all together so you can maybe see a recipe. What you got in there, Chica? I, I'm hiding some tamales. Yeah. So I got a cover. I'm gonna put them in here. Just stick them up straight like this. Oh, just don't just don't catch that thing on fire. Okay. Yes, that probably would be a good idea. Yeah, because I forget when you have one of those kinds. Of you cover that baby up. On it. She wants Penny to play. Look, she threw in it. She oh, wants her to play. Penny's like, I'm too old. I mean, she's an old girl. Come on, come on. I'll play. I'll play. Come on. Leave her alone. Come on, Mama, play. Come, come here, Penny. Come here, Mama, play. <laughs> Rosie, come on. See, she wants to play. Oh. All right, Penny. Okay. Let her know, and then she got the phone. Cover that baby for about an hour and a half just because they're frozen, and then I'll make the uh, extra chili powder. Chili All sauce. right, so we got some tamales on the side, and then we're getting ready to make some tortillas. Tortillas in here. And we're going to have our pre tortilla here. drink. No pre tortilla drink. Because it's going to be a workout. Do you want this, or do you want. Okay, so what we have is a tablespoon of salt here. 
This is five pounds of flour. This is actually the biggest bowl that we can find. So I recommend actually a bigger bowl, but this is okay. You're just going to put like a, a cavern in here when you're ready to do it. And this is our lard. We're going to use about, we'll end up probably using all of this or almost all of it, but we'll only use maybe hey. three quarters in the, in, in the tortillas in here. So about, about this much will go in here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the salt in and we're just going to fluff the salts into the flour. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was a little distracted trying to refund my recipe for red chili sauce. I have no idea. I can't remember what I So, Miss Eva is making the manes. Or they're made. I just got to Well, they're in here she's steaming them, but she's making the sauce from scratch. That is not rust, that's seasoning. Well, actually, and we yeah, do cast yeah. iron here. Actually, yeah, I'm not totally scratched because I'm not like going to get the chilies and extract that and soak them and get that. You're going to use powder? red chili powder because, you know, we need a little, yeah. Yeah. yeah some, I'm yeah. not in the land of Mexican in New Hampshire. Well, I mean, you are a Mexican, yeah, senora. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm not living in the land like of Arizona, Mexico? of, you know, Arizona. Arizona, where you're just from. I into any grocery store and get uh -huh. these things. You're yes. to find the right one. But anyway... It is what it is. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make do. Yeah. And I, I normally would even use Las Palmas chili sauce, but that's so hard to get through, too. But anyway, I'll, I'll make this, and it'll be good. It's going to so be, be good. So that's what that's okay, what so that's, Mi Chica is up to. She's up to the so chili I'm recipe. To find that little recipe. I'm doing this. <laughs> and we have a crying Boston. Baby, are you crying? Yes, you are crying. Why? Because Daddy's outside. With mommy's baby, with Miss Penny Superdog. Yes, daddy's outside. This is Senor Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. Eduardo. <laughs> He's a very righteous, godly man. He is? Of he course is. He, is. he is. Come on, mommy. He is. Yes, he is. You put up with me? Yeah. He's yes. Pretty righteous. We are daughters of the Most High. Yes, we are. And yes. he, he deals with me and Yes. The craziness with the Lord. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Thank God that craziness comes from the Lord and not He's the a righteous enemy. man. And not the enemy, or he, he would have been yes. married a long time. He is ago. a righteous man. He's good. He's yes, good. he is. He is. Yes. And he cooks me dinner almost every night. Yes, and he's a good cook. Yes, and coffee every morning. Yeah. What more could I ask? I know. Ooh. Godly man. See? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes. Okay, so I've added the salt. I've added a tablespoon of salt, and I've yes. sifted it throughout the flour. Here's the lard. We're going to use quite a bit of this. Uh, the main thing is that we're going to break up the lard. Can you hold this for me? And just, just focus right here while I break up the lard. Break up the lard. Yes. Break up the lard. So, here we go. This it's is It's literally awesome. going to be this much, and if not more. Like this. This will put aside, but and we just break up the lard like this. Okay. And we're gonna put it. See what's going to happen is we're this lard is going to be crumbled throughout all of this dough. Kind of like when you make or flour crust for. <laughs> we make empanada crust for empanadas. Yeah. Empanada. So, so what you would do just like you're trying when you break up the crust, or you know, the, add the butter to the flour mm -hmm. or the whatever you use. So I actually have a thing from Pampered Chef that, let me get it for you. It may, might help a little bit. Okay. But you got some? Uh, well, yeah, I've got all this stuff that I don't use anymore. Yeah. I, cook like what I do is I do this, and I crumble it up like this. Oh, here it so is. So it gets into little pieces because we, we, we need it to be. Check this out. Oh, yeah. That, so there it we just, go. It just there does. See, so that's, uh, you know, plug for my friends at Sell Pampered Chef. So you do that, and I have made pies before, like apple. It's some of you I should make an apple, and then um, you just use that and really crush it up. Can you hear that rosy girl cry? She wants yeah. to get at that other dog that's out there. Penny super dogs out there. Yeah, Daddy. Penny super dogs out. Eduardo. <laughs> Papi Eduardo. <laughs> and poor Penny, we don't want her to keel over. So the goal is that you want you don't want any clumps. You see how this is still clumps? Let so me see. I'm going to get in there. Show me the clump. 
see the clumps? You don't. We don't want this. Eventually, it's going to be. It's going to become part of the powder, and you want to feel for it, right? And and incorporate it all throughout the flour. Okay, let me feel. You got clean hands. Go ahead. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. You see what you you. you oh, it feels good. You want to be able to clump it up. You so don't want I any do things like big, this. big piece of right. lard. No big pieces. Of manteca. Yes. Manteca. Oh, Rosie, I know. Oh, my goodness. What no a drama large queen, mommy. Drops. No large things. Oh, you cause what? Oh, you say, Mommy, let me cook with you. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shut it off, Mommy. Okay. We'll wait till the next step. All right, so we've got the lard mixed in with the flour. That's the little bit that I have left over, which I am going to may add a little bit more. So the next step is to add Rosie, lukewarm water. Come here, Rose. Hi, Pen Pen. To add lukewarm water. Lukewarm water, I'm getting it right now, right now. And you're just going to make a cavern. You're just going to make a hole in here and start pouring it in. Now, until you know where, like, until you've made your own tortillas before, you, you want to start off with maybe a cup at a time, and you'll use anywhere from, I guess, five to eight cups, depending on the humidity in your area. So, the main thing with um, flour tortillas is the consistency, and you want bubbles, bubbles and consistency. But you're going to be needing this a lot, and when you need it, it's going to definitely make you winded, okay? So, and the, the tamales are still cooking. We got some, uh, got some chili sauce here that I'm going to try. We need to taste that, Joel. Yep, we need to taste okay, it. Okay, so I'm getting you, uh, like, barely warm water. You said yes. five to eight cups. Lukewarm, yes. Well, like, like you would give a baby. Like you would give a baby. Okay, my hands are clean. Okay. Okay, so we've got how many glasses of warm water? Okay, so we have Chica. used about um, four and a, maybe five. Okay. About five. And now. We're super sticky. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Can you yes. keep winding it around? Ooh, work out. Yes, it's a workout. <laughs> and then we're going to roll them into little balls for the... Eventually. I have to really need this for about 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let her do it. I might, I might jump in there in about 10 minutes, but I don't, I don't know. Because I'm keeping the dogs happy. <laughs> yes, and cooking <laughs> some wonderful sauce. So I make, I'm going to make another batch of sauce. I'm so excited now that I know how to make the homemade chili sauce. My sister kept telling me, oh, it's so easy, it's so easy, but, you know, you know how it is. So you as far as consistency goes, yeah. Throw obviously that. this is not ready. Eventually, right. when you need this enough, it's, it's the, the goal is to be able to do this and pull out and not have it sticky. That's okay. the goal. And my, I remember my grandma's was nice and smooth. And like you need it super smooth, smooth looking. Yeah. And the only way to do that, throw that baby, is to is to knead it. Yeah. I need you to knead it so I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <sighs> and then you can always pause for my chica's wonderful. What are these, mommy? Those. That is a grapefruit. Margarita. Oh no, I'm sorry. Grapefruit. I don't know what these are. Martini. Yes. She hasn't had any yet. <laughs> I have not had my grapefruit martini yet. I'm but just we like, did what? have our traditional shot of Patron. Tequila. Traditional? I'm like, I've never had a shot of Patron in it's my, my life. Traditional. Yeah, it's her traditional. And you know I'm like, why? Oh. Let me tell you why. There's science behind it. Okay. Oh yeah, let me because hear the this science. This is going to give me a workout, and yes. I'm a big girl. I need to thin my blood out a little and just get my body warmed up. And I do it by a shot of frozen patron. Patron. No, it, it was smooth, but I can only do half a shot. I had to go fix it up. But um, yeah, yes, I'll. I'll flaca. Uh, I'm flaca, yeah, okay. Gorda, uh, flaca. Gorda, <laughs> stop. Gorda gets a bit. Gets more, flaca gets a little. Okay. So I'm going to get my grapefruit martini on soon. Um, well, maybe not too soon. Because I want to make sure I, I get all the ingredients right. 
And then, um, but yeah, look at that. I mean, this is awesome. Look at, roll it, yeah. roll it. You see? It, gosh, look at then that. Then you can like get your just, brushes. Yeah, just ah. ha, just get it. <laughs> Go. And, and this, I love my countertop. This countertop. Yes, it's I just, love isn't being it able awesome to, not to have, just? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of Jewish homes have this too, because they also most. Uh, oh, they do. There. What is that? What is the food called that they challah. make? Challah bread. Challah mm -hmm. bread. Yep, for sure. Well, you know, and then we're gonna experiment. This is really kind of yes. cool. We're gonna experiment with some uh, paleo um, baking flour or this almond flour because I know my husband. He's so good about keto and all that, and I know he doesn't like the flour and, he and looks the carbon. Great. Yeah, he looks and he's awesome. An excellent cook. And he's yeah. So I. I just wanted to try to do this and make a treat for him, you know. So Joseph and I are going to experiment. And um, he's all good about lard, fats, of course, um, because keto is all about fats, <laughs> good fats. So he, you know, he's good with that. So I'm going to, um, I hope that they come out great, that, you know, he, he'll eat it. So anyway, I'm going to do something nice for him. So, okay, well, thanks. We'll, um, we'll be back in just a few. Okay, so this is still quite sticky. Okay, so I've sprinkled just a little bit of flour, and I'm going to keep kneading. And like I said, I'm going to keep kneading until it's super soft and supple, but not like when I do this, nothing, nothing sticks to me. Okay, that's, that's what I'm looking for. And then we're going to let it sit for about 35 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing it, keep kneading. I'm still kneading because when I do this, I still get sticky. The goal is, when you do that, you don't get that, okay? So you can just get in there. Okay, we're still sticky. Now, the temptation is to add more flour, but you're not going to do that. You're going to knead it until it is so supple and so soft and no longer sticking, okay? So you just got to keep kneading it, and you got to be quick about it or it will dry out. Because this is going to sit for 35 minutes. I'm going to roll it tight. I'm going to roll it into a ball really tight in a bowl. And then I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and let it sit for 35 minutes, all right? Okay, so what we did is we got this dough to the consistency that we wanted. And it was what I was explaining. I squeezed my hand in it. It came out. There was nothing in it. I'm sorry I didn't give video of that. But... Then what we did is we covered it. Now we could have covered it just on here, but I don't know. We just decided to put it in this for cleanliness. Excuse me. Can I use some of this lard? Can I use some of those lard for the beans? Or yes, do we need for the for beans anything? you can use do the we, lard, mommy. Do we need it for anything else other than well, just the balls? yeah, just a roll into the balls. Than, no, this is the, this. All right, lard. Okay. All right. All right. And as you can see, we cook with cast iron here. It's a very Latin thing to do. It tastes better. Everything tastes better. All right. So um, this has been sitting for about 40 minutes. I, so here in New England, I really didn't need all the eight cups of water. But Thank now you. we're going to knead it, and we're going to make little balls. So we're going to get a little pan or a big pan, yeah. and, and, and we're just going to knead it and make balls. And, and how you make the balls yeah. is you literally squeeze them like this, and they come out. So... You want about, for the big size tortillas, you want about maybe, I don't know, 50, 53, 50 to 57 grams of uh, dough. So we're going to feel that out because need, I couldn't find my digital scale and I don't think... Uh, I told you, <laughs> Mexicans are like... Mexicans don't use skills. We don't use skills when we cook. Now, if yeah. we were drug dealers, but we're not. We don't come from that lineage. So we don't have a scale. We don't weigh. So she's not we letting cook. me weigh this. So, so we're, we're going to we'll, see. We'll, we'll, it'll, it'll work. It's, it's, uh, we'll show you. The yes. traditional Lupe, Mar Faz, Martinez way, my grandma. Martinez. I will see her again in heaven. Anyway, so, yeah, we'll All right. show you how it's done. All right. Oh, so I don't even know if we were just recording. Anyway, um, so she um, she made some tamales, and we were testing the tamales, and I thought we were recording, but maybe not. Mm, we missed the olive. She puts an olive, one olive in each tamale. We got shredded beef. A black olive. 
Oh, uh, it's good, mommy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm eating all of her tamales. She ain't getting any of it. There's another bunch of tamales in there still. See that plate full? Unfortunately, I'm now. now her sister. Processed homemade chiles for a hot sauce. That's, she grew them herself. They're right here. These are the beans. So now here's the here, here's the tortillas. Yes. What I wanted to show you was this is very soft dough. Now this sat for about 40 minutes. Good girl, Rose. Leave her alone. Good girl. Now what I did is I took some lard and I rubbed it in my hands to turn it in to melt it and I just I just coated it right now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna create balls like this perfect balls like this okay now we have to save the balls that we start at first over here because we don't, you know, they're the first ones we need to um, process, right? So anyway, this has been sitting for about 40 minutes. It's soft. I just want you to see how soft it is. Okay, this is the consistency, okay? It's all about consistency, okay? So this is what we got, and we're going to start making small balls. This is how it looks. You take it. Can you hold this and I'll show? Or yeah, do you want to? No, you show them how you did it when okay. you were little. So my grandma, when she, when I was very little, I remember her grabbing the dough literally. Mm -hmm. And this is what she would do. She would go like this. Mm -hmm. That's a ball. And she would do this. I remember. Oh my gosh, this is like I bring back such. That's very traditional. And that's and there we go. Yeah. And then she would put them. Them just here, line them all up and cover them. Yeah, and then put, put uh, uh, lard oh, on put it. Put lard on her yeah. hands and go. Yeah. And then, so we'll do that after. But right. that, that looks exactly like her. So so we would that literally. That one's big. But, but no, but that she would, this and, and, would go like this. Yeah. Squeeze it. Okay, so maybe that was good. No, because. That is how you do it. And then that would be, but that, there was no measuring. We would just. Let me see if I can get this to okay, stand. Here, I'll take one, so you do it. So okay. again, her hand, she would just, my grandma would just get it, like, okay, so she'd have, remember, like, okay, so she'd take a piece of this, and she would just go like this, and she would get her hand, and she would literally. Yes, that is what happened. And, and here's the lard. You know, you have a, a little bit left over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little big. Okay, but if you okay. thought it was a little big, you know, consistent, you would just... There. But that other size there, really, you say a little big. No, that was actually, I remember. This so, is my size. Okay, now, <laughs> my and, size. And, Which one you got there? So that would be one right there. Yeah. yeah th no, that, no, not not in our household. <laughs> so Miss Eva says that's too small. In our household, they were bigger. They were, I remember. But now, see, your, your grandma stretched them, though. Oh, my gosh, yeah. She yeah, was, she was old school. We're going to use the... Uh, the um, roll pins. So, and, how she got them so round and we want them super thin. She made the thin ones, but that's why again the thin ones always. I remember the thin ones always had to sit, which seemed like an eternity. Yeah, that's those hallway. are gonna have to sit for ten minutes. So Eva, she's she's Mexican and Italian. Her 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 maiden name is Pinto, P I N T O. Hey, hey. So when she was working as a chemist pharmacist on the reservation, they all thought she was Navajo. Oh, I was at the Navajo reservation. Yeah. They'd always talk to me. I mean, I had dark hair then. Yeah, I knew the dark and skin. Time is, time is. Hey. So, come here. Go over girl, here, Penny. Over here, please. Over here, please. So, yeah. So, so obviously, pinto. I don't have brown hair anymore, but I had yeah. brown hair with the glass. My skin, yeah, I'd have a tan on the reservation. So, I'd be in the pharmacy, and they'd all, they'd get upset, because I wouldn't I'm, answer I don't know Navajo. Yeah, so then the Navajo girls would tell them. She's, she's Navajo, not Navajo. She doesn't know. <laughs> and then would, so, then I'd go hide out in the chart room and do my do what I needed to do. Right. My dad's only like maybe five, five eight maybe. Yeah, it's not small. Tall, You're Pinto. I'm El Grande. You, no, you're no, Pinto. No. 
So, but your dad was like, I know, he's the kind of guy you go see if you got to take care of a guy. Hey, you know, I went and talked to a guy about a thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but he won't have a problem no more. Yeah, he would take care of things. Yeah. His his father. Yeah, we we took, yeah, Yeah, took care of things. Okay, so it so we we've eaten dinner. We had some of the oh, good job! Look at that, chica! Ah, nice and thin and round. So this is what Papi Eduardo cooked. This is the um, tortilla. So what's happening is what she's doing is she's taking these balls, okay, which sat for ten minutes with lard covered on them, right? And then you do this, right? And then you pinch them, see, you pinch them, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch them. Now you would use two hands to pinch, but obviously I'm using the other hand. So the next time me hermana decides to pinch, We'll focus on her. In the meantime, you'll see <laughs> that the tortilla is bubbling, and you definitely want the bubbles. My turn. Not Refried. Refried beans. Okay, so you take this baby off. Yep. See, there's our stack tortillas. This one's not as round, but that it's, looks good. It's good enough. For and it's nice and thin, it's nice paper thin, paper thin. Show them how you stretch it, oh, okay, how, okay. how you pinch the corners okay. and stretch. Okay, so this, this, so like this, 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 this. Pinch it, pinch your corners. It's nice and round, kind of round. Then we put the flour. Chop down this is. Camera, do me good. Oops, come on. Just a little more flour there. It looks good. Okay, nice and round. Be. When we first started making them, they were kind of scary. We weren't getting the round thing, and then we realized we'd forgotten a step. It's a little more round than they had been. This looks pretty good. Yeah. Paper thin so, it yeah. out. See now, she now. Let me see. So I want them to see how thin this is. And you can see the ran it through there. Yeah. Okay, then I Very still, thin. I still stretch a little. Got bubbles yep. going. Turn yep. it once. That one turn. You got. You see the bubbles. You want that. Yeah. You want that. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I don't know how many dozen. We'll bag those babies up. Yeah. That's enough for my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> how many do you think we made? Of course, we ate like twenty. Oh, at least. Because okay, yeah. we were dipping them in the refried beans oh, and the sauce. Okay, yeah. So. See, this is. Yeah, I got it going. I got it all going She's now. She's got it going on. Yeah, so a little flour there. There. Got it going. Oh, fireworks out yep, there. Yeah, fireworks or gunshots. Yeah. <laughs> They're both. A little Could bit of both. both out here in the mountain hills. Yep. And we got a good doggie who's no longer harassing Miss Penny Super Dog. You're right, baby. Mama loves you. Yes, we have a very obedient Boston. Yes, we do, baby. Start yeah. Adding those in baggies. Yes. Counting, we will let you know the final count. Yeah. Yeah. Well, does that include the ones we got a hold of? So we had, we had to test them. Oh, but and they were little. Stretch it. Oh. Stretch it. What's going on, bro? Anybody alone? Oh, you got a little bit of honey. I would say I needed this dough for a good half hour. Oh, easy. Well, I was. If, I if not know. longer. Yeah. See, it's it's oh. with with the water. You have to determine yourself what how much water you need because this is nice because this is of very the humidity. Dough. This is very good. The humidity, the dryness. When you're dry, you need more water. So, I don't know. I guess we did okay, but I needed it at least a half hour, if not longer. 
And I aggressively but, kneaded that yeah. dough. I'm, I'm a good kneader. <laughs> You're a good kneader. But yeah. this is really like very pliable, nice and yeah, stretchy. Very, it's, yes. It's really good. And very nice. thin. Yeah. Well, very soft. Good. It's very. It's still soft. Oh, very soft. So, so here's the balls. Oh yeah. So different, different sizes because yeah, these are my grandma never made corn for us. It was always flour. So that's why I'm partial to the flour. Yes. And we got an obedient doggy. And I got my my baby here. And yeah, Miss Penny Super Dog. But I love her. She's a good baby. All right, so this is the mess we made. We obviously broke in. We've had dinner. We broke into the um, tamales. This sauce was amazing. Thank this stone you. bowl. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Nice to put the dough in. Yeah, they like fresh food here. Anyway, so that's what's going on in this kitchen. Here's our pile of tortillas. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many we are going to go in this bag. In baggies. Yeah. Yes. And there's puppy. We're almost done. Yes. So I'm going to hang up and um, I'm going to help Chica here. Finish, yeah, finish all up. these up. So these are mine. Yeah, and if you if you ever want to know how to roll them, it's kind of a, you know, it's it's this kind of motion. It's just, and it takes. I mean, you gotta just do about 150 before you start getting them round. At least 150. Then you get pretty round now. They start. They quit looking like the state of Texas. <laughs> well, yeah, Arkansas. You might have had a New Hampshire tortilla too at one yeah. point. Yeah, so, uh, we had a Massachusetts one yeah, for sure. Had you, them, yeah, you even had Cape Cod on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm so gonna. Now I'm getting better. I'm gonna with check the out. Yeah. See, that's why you make a big the bat. We were doing this from memory from childhood. We didn't do too bad. No, I think we did all right. Yeah, we did all right. We just forgot a step, but they don't know that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all right. Over and out. Good night.